Good morning, people. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry for coming a few minutes late. We had some technical issues, but it's sorted out already. Hi, how we all doing? We listen to the song by Femi Okunoga. It's a new song I love so much. Before now, before it came up online, we had um, Flo Rocker. Flo Rocker had Waiting Concern You. And that's one song that we're going to be talking about. Waiting Concern You. Why would you compare your life to someone else's? So today, how are we comparing ourselves to one another? So y'all yeah, this is this song by Femi Okunoga. It's I depend on you. I pray you're blessed. I pray that God blesses you. Good morning, everybody. And we'll be going live. We're live on Amen Radio right now. So if you're not listening via Facebook, then you can go on Amen Radio, www.amenradio.net. And you will enjoy it. So you have a blast. So yeah. So this is Anwar Dejiri. My program is Life Matters. Well, if you want to say it in Pigeon, you say life matters. So, issues that affect us as human beings, we discuss on this platform and we discuss the word of God too. So, then get it twisted. So, yeah, so we're listening to Femi Okunoga's I Depend on You. It's a beautiful song I want you to go and grab. So, right now, we're going straight to for our Instagram people. Our Instagram people. We want to try, we want to, okay. So yeah, we're trying to go live on Instagram. We're bringing in new songs today, a lot of new songs, like a lot of them. So if you haven't gotten a lot of songs this year, I would say this is one song you should go and get. It is I Depend On You by Femi Okunoga. So yeah, we're live on Instagram. Yes, we're live on Instagram. Our Instagram people, hello. And our Facebook people, God bless you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're hearing us from. Oh, I look up to you. I look up to you. You provide that in the past. You provide you again. You provide it in the past. You provide it again. I look up to you. I look up to you. Hi, people. Welcome to Life Matters. And if you want to hear the pigeon version of Life Matter. So we're discussing issues that affect us. Right now, we're live on Amen Radio. So if you're um, not listening to us or you don't want to like watch and probably drive you can tune in on amen radio and listen to us live right now we're live yeah. these are songs that at released 2018 um i want you to go get this songs i depend on you by Femi Okunoga. it's an amazing song i'll be dropping some also late 2017 new songs so that um for those that love beautiful worship songs and beautiful prayer songs and some rap songs yeah we do some rap rap things there uh, hallelujah you provide in the past you provide Hi, my people. How are you doing? Happy New Year for those that are just joining us for the first time this year. Happy New Year. Hope you are having a fabulous 2018. You know, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing that 2018, today's nine. I'm a, Yeah, I'm correct. Today's nine. Like, I was telling myself, I can't believe that today is the ninth. Like, when did we just say happy new year? Oh my God. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing how people will not know that we don't reach. What, what's, what's the day? Ah, like, I never experienced it. <laughs> yeah, so we're going live now. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so we're live. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wherever you're hearing us from, you're live on Amen Radio. Yay! And today is such an amazing day for me because I'm so happy that 2018 has been 
you know, from the first day to the ninth day, I am super grateful to God because God has been so amazing. Like, ah, the way God has been doing a lot of things for me, I'm just amazed. I'm amazed. And um, today we'll be talking about comparison. Now, I know the British, the British English, we call it comparison, like the C-O-M-P-A-R-I-S-O-N. But for us, oh, is the, today's 10. Oh, my God. Today's 10, actually. Oh, oh my God. I know. Calm down. <laughs> today's 10. Oh, today's 10th of January. Tomorrow is the 11th. So, um, so for us in U.S. and Canada, it's comparison. C-O-M-P-A-R-S-M. Yes. Me too. I just went to check. I had to Google it and see that. There are two different things. Mm -hmm. But well, my people, my people, welcome, welcome. This is Anu Adedere. And um, for those that are just coming or tuning in for the first time, this is a platform where we discuss life issues, life matters. And that's why the, the show is called Life Matters Anu Adedere. So what we do is come we every week with beautiful music and also with topics that affect us as human beings every day every week every other hour and we try to like talk about these issues to the best of our knowledge right so this is the amazing thing um i remember when i was younger and when i was younger i remember that once we didn't like perform well in school and when we say she the person that came first position has two heads and i'll feel so bad <laughs> i remember always feeling very bad because i was looking at it like but really but the person kindly kind, probably does like i i I didn't, I didn't understand why there was a reason for comparison because i felt like we're all different yeah but you know should we continue this gist? Before we continue, I want to play this amazing song I love. Um, it's it's from a very close friend. He's a very good friend of mine. Um, before we go into the um the topic itself, I want to play this song. It's called Baba Ara. Baba Ara, for those that don't speak Yoruba, means God of Wonders. And it's an amazing song by David Destiny. I want you to listen, you will enjoy it, and I know you will love it. It's Baba Ara by David Destiny. Oh, okay, okay. Before then, before I play that song, I want to play this song. I know it's a song that affects every one of us. Um, it's called uh, Ordinary People by Koba Mzasukwo. You know, th in this world, we're ordinary people living life, enjoying what God has done for us, enjoying this life in the real sense of it. And why can't we just live uh, this life like ordinary people, living the life just as God wants us to? So I want us to listen to this beautiful song. It's an old song, but it's a beautiful one that captivates my heart. It's Ordinary People by Koba Mzasukwo. Um, and I know you're going to love it. You're really going to love it. Yes. Hello, my people. Hello, my people. Hello. I'm, I'm so blessed having everybody here. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. We're going to go straight into the topic this morning. This morning, it's going to be, um, an interesting one. An interesting one. So we're doing this at the same time. So for those that aren't on Facebook, tell your friends on Instagram. Do on Instagram, tell your friends on Facebook. And you should share the video once you're done. Yes. 
people living life the way God wants us to living life the way God himself has destined us to have living life the way we have been created by God you know it's very beautiful it's amazing when I see a lot of people look down on themselves make a fun of themselves just because they feel that they are not up to this standard they're not up to that standard and I sit down and look at it and I'm like why would you even feel that way you know I, I, I tried to look at it probably, maybe it wasn't in the scriptures, maybe there was nothing in the scriptures that talks about comparison. But you know that a lot of times, subconsciously, we tend to compare ourselves with one another. You don't know. You just look at it like, what's wrong with this person? Doesn't he or she know that I am this, 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 or that, that, that? And subconsciously, you're already looking at, what is this person wearing? I know, I have that kind of shoe. And we start thinking, over calculating, putting this, putting that, but not knowing that we are not even meant to compare each other. We are meant to love each other, yeah? We, we are meant to emulate each other, yeah? But don't go around comparing people. And, and, and I, want, I want us to um, look at it in different angles. Um, if you look at, if you're like me, you don't intentionally play the comparison game. Like, it happens to be like, I, I myself, like, I, 
I don't want to use the word I don't care, but I really love being me. I don't know how to pretend. I want to be unknown. I don't want to enjoy life. I don't want to enjoy God. I don't want to enjoy everything. Like, I don't want to look at you and be thinking, uh, am I dressing well? Do I look good? No, 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 no. No self-pity in this kingdom. <laughs> no self-pity. Yes, there's no self-pity. I'm not going to look down myself because I'm seeing you wearing designer. Oh, the Lord that gave you designer is going to give me what I need, brother and sister. So let's stop doing all these things for the gram. Let's stop doing all these things for the social media. Go on social media. Stare at someone's page for three hours. You know, there was this thing that um, I, 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 I um, was on this person's Insta live last week. Um, his name is Oye, Oye Mike on um, Instagram. And the thing he said during the week, course of the week, he said one thing. He said people compare themselves to Davido and all these artists and do this and do that. And, and I was telling I was telling my friend this morning, I said, we compare ourselves to so many people that we don't know their story. And the thing Oye Mike was saying was, some of these very rich children that some people go out of their way to be like, they have a backup plan. Someone said he's going back to his father's um, plant in Ogun State. <laughs> And you are just trying to compare your life to someone else's when you know that God created you to be you, to fulfill destiny, to be yourself, to enjoy life. And you know, it's unfortunate. It's an ugly game. Oh. It's a very ugly game. You're beautiful. You're too beautiful to compare your life to someone else's because you are you. You are <laughs> like, I like my head, my neck, my teeth. I'll... <laughs> I love it so much. Like I don't want to know if someone's own is like all set. Yeah, this is how mine looks like. Sorry, <laughs> I love how God created it to be. But we go all around. It's a it's an ugly game we play, and Jesus warned us not to get caught up, especially when it comes to all this. Um, this person is more spiritual than me. Let me let me do. No 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 no. You know. Let me, let me give an emphasis. In Luke 18, 9 to 14, Jesus told the parable. Parable. He said, some who are confident of their own righteousness and look down on everyone else. And that's what the parable is all about. I don't want to like read the entire scripture this morning. He said, he told of a Pharisee who thanked God. I, 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 I want you to note that parable. It's in Luke 18, 9 to 14. And he said, he thanked God. It wasn't like other people. The task, they'll go in front. Like, they'll go to the front and say, um, you know... When I was helping so so and so, I paid this, I paid like by just school fees. Yes, I remember. Nah. And the person in the audience, they're supposed to enjoy the mercies and blessings that God has given unto him. Instead of thanking God, you know what they would do? Oh, see how this person is just making jest of me. See, how, no, my, my people, don't do that. Your life was created, crafted, and designed by God. He knew why he created you as you. He knew why he gave you that talent to sing, to act, to write, to evangelize. Some people are just natural evangelists. You can't take it from them. They're people that they can walk up to anybody and actually evangelize. They, don't, they, can't, they won't think twice. So why would you? You that God gave you a singing ministry. Use your singing ministry to evangelize. Instead, you say you want to go into evangelism. Mm, Auntie Patricia. You are the one that knows how to evangelize. And you start saying things when you don't even have the knowledge of the word of God. You want to cast out demons, but you don't, you don't do your own work at home. By praying without ceasing. So why are we comparing ourselves? Why, 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 why do you want to be like me? Why are you, why are you, why are you comparing yourself to me? I, I, like, I don't understand. So you are a jazz up. Let, let me let, let me give you an example, and this will make you laugh. So when I was younger, I used to want to sing like Maria Carey, Celine Dion, all the likes and all the skills, and I was doing all the rehearsals and everything. And you know, I was feeling fly that ah me eh Celine Dion of life. I'm going to. So there was a day I went for this rehearsal, <laughs> and the person charged the rehearsal, and I said, okay, I don't take the mic and let me hear your voice. So I sang and it was like, oh my God, like your voice is rich, husky, deep. I said, no, 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 I don't like voices like that. I want to be like, and he looked at me and was like, I know, follow your lane. 
It was funny, but it was the truth. A lot of us don't follow our lanes, oh. Hey. We will leave our own lane and go and meet BRT. Then, last man will now catch you. When last man now catches you, what will you now do? Ah, you now feel bad and start saying, oh, I shouldn't have, oh, but I wanted to. Mm -mm. The race is not to the swift, remember? No. I don't believe that we are set out to do the same thing in this life. I, I, I don't believe it. I believe that if you work in the line of God, we'll all make heaven. Yes, I believe that. But I don't believe that God created everybody to do the same thing. I don't know if you... He wants to fulfill destiny, but he doesn't want all of us to be doctors. None of us become lawyers. Some people have to be musicians, like play best of jazz. Like I'm seeing some of my friends here that I know are amazing jazz, jazz musicians. But why would you want to compare yourself? You know you are so awesome in jazz. You got to take you 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 are the one that is not doing um what they call it. You're the one trying to do trap music. I don't know why you're trying to do that. I'm not saying you should not you should not diversify, but don't do things that you know that you're not like this is one thing I, I, I love about some of our producers in Nigeria. They know their craft and they know what they're really great at. They were not trying to sound like someone else. Neither should someone else try to sound like them. Yeah, godliness with contentment is a great thing. Now, number one, let's stop comparing ourselves to each other. Oh, she's not pretty. Ah, see her. She did low court. I'm going to do low court. My sister, if low court is not fit, you don't do low court. I am telling you the truth. I used, to, I used to know someone that if this person fix nails, she'll go and fix nails. If this person makes her hair, and I'm, and I'm like, who they pursue you? For people that don't understand broken, it means who is chasing you? Who is actually chasing you to not even enjoy your own life how you want to enjoy it? And it, it caused a lot of psychological trauma. And I'm pleading to our parents, please, please, please. Yes, you have three children. Those three children are awesome. But number one, remember they are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. So they are distinct. They are different. They are three different human beings. So don't compare this to this because it gives a lot of psychological and emotional trauma to the child. Take it from me. The child will be begin to belittle himself or herself. The child will begin to look at, ah, why am I look? Why, why, why is this thing happening to me? Oh, I, I don't like how... The child will begin to feel like he's not, he's not summed up to be someone that is great. Why? Because you try to tell the person, you're not good enough. See, your brother, he came first position. Listen to me. There's a difference between encouraging, pushing. You can do it. You can be better. You can be this. But it's different from, don't you know, mm -mm, don't compare. As a lady, as a man. We're created differently. So the way that um, I will look if I wear a particular dress, and that's one thing about trends. Trends evolve. My sisters, my brothers, whatever you think is the new fashion school, you just Google it and do fashion in the 80s. You will see that so many things we are calling trendy now are things that they've been doing since 1980 something. And when I look at it, I'm like, so why are we killing ourselves? Like, really? Someone is saying, someone, <laughs> so yeah, from our Facebook um, uh, listeners, person said, like a jazzist trying to do Afro. Like, don't, don't try, just be yourself. Like, be yourself. Enjoy life. Be, be free. Like, be free. Love, love what you do. There's nothing bad. There's nothing, um, there's no crime. There's no sin in being yourself. Psalm 180 tells us God's way are perfect. So if God created you, you are tall, you are huge. Probably you have big eyes like me. Probably you have big chubby cheeks. Please love yourself. Don't compare yourself to one another. Please don't. This particular topic is having a part two because we are coming back to talk about a lot of things. I might even have someone on the show, but today I'm trying to lay a foundation on trying to plead with my generation. Please do not compare yourself. Realize we have different strengths and weaknesses. 
there's someone richer, thinner, better, fatter. Like, there's so many people that are, that, that, if God created us the same way, I don't think we'll enjoy the variety of what he did. I love me. Love you. Like, love you. Like, love you. I, I, I don't know how, I, I, I don't know how, how amazing it will be if you just tell yourself, you know what? I will not depend on what anybody says about me or blah, blah, blah. I will just love who I am. I will love me. I will love me. Don't compare yourself. There's this song by Megan Trainor. It's I love me. Love you. You don't see. Look at other people. Look at Oprah Winfrey. Look at TD Jakes. Look at all these people and say, I can be better. I can do this. Listen to their books. Buy their mess. Like, do things like that. But it took time. It took process for them to get to where they were. We are fearfully and wonderfully made by God in Psalm 139 verse 14. And you know, as you surrender your heart to him, as you make God your lover, see, God just makes you feel like the time when I wake up and I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm just pretty. I just love myself because God has made me beautiful. And I realize it. It's not by the makeup. It's not by anything. It's by who God says you are. He said he made man in his own image. And we know that God is beautiful. OMG. God is beautiful. So how would you even think less of yourself? Why would you think that it is Mary Kay that will bring out the beauty of God in your life? No. Makeup to enhance. God made you beautiful. So why should makeup define who I am? Why should I say, I, I cannot see if I don't do makeup? Uh, brother. I can see you as I'm waking up. <laughs> Have that confidence in yourself. Tell yourself, look into the mirror. Anoluapo, or whatever your name is. Ifeolua, Olushola, I am beautiful. You are handsome. You look good today. I just, I just your color. <laughs> like, look at yourself and you're like, you know what? I don't care what anybody says. I don't know what the fashion trend says. Brethren, I'm looking good. No matter how hard I, you and I try, someone will always be better at something. And that's the truth. We can have two Stevie Wonders. We can have two Cobams. Like, we can have people that can emulate them in their excellence and their work, but we can have two of them. God has made them unique. We are different. You're unique. You're special. And when you go around comparing people to another person, comparing your spouse, Oh, it gives some psychological and emotional trauma to the person. So don't give someone a dick because you don't feel feel in a particular way. Don't. Second Corinthians chapter two verse nine to ten says, "Rely on God because He's your strength. By our strength, we can do a lot of things. We can't. Like." God's love makes makes it so amazing that we can we can do some things ourselves because God has given us the strength to do it. So why not just rely on Him solely? I, 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 I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Like why not just rely on God solely, like entirely? Why why would you like to why would you like to concern yourself with what someone is saying about you? Like why can't you just look at yourself and say, you know what? Give compliments over comparison. So there's this thing I learned. They call it CRC. Commend. Um, uh, CRC. For people that do Toastmasters, it's called commend, recommend, then. Commend, recommend, then. Cri like criticize or something. I can't remember the third one. So the first one, if you're probably your spouse prepares food for you and it's not tasting really nice. He was coming, ah, oh, my darling, well done. You really did well. Well, I like how you prepared this. But, you know, next time, I think you should just reduce the salt. Like, it means more. Do you know how we feel if you told me that? Instead of saying, ah, you don't even know how to cook. See how you poured, all, you want to, you want to kill me up. Nah. See, the last time that Shola prepared food for me. No. Apply CRC. 
comment, recommend. I think the last one is, I, I, I think the last one is, um, comment. Yeah. So before you give your comment, comment and recommend first. You know how, ima how amazing that will be. So if I first commend you and I recommend something to you before I give you my criticism, it makes, it's like I put icing, I put ice cream, I put everything to stop it up. Then I can now say, you know what? Let me just pour, give this person a piece of my mind, but in love. And that's why I always pray. When I want to tell anybody anything, I pray that God, give me a bridal tongue. Having a bridal tongue helps a lot. You know why it helps? Because... It gives you that particular time to sit down and evaluate what you're going to say before you say them. It gives you. So you don't just say it as, oh, you are not good. Oh, you're not this. No. It gives me that time to sit down and tell myself um, before I can say, oh, you didn't do well. I will say, well, I know you studied really hard. I know that you, you burned the night candle because I, I saw you do that. But I, I know you can do better. I know you can do better. And, and you know, the person will feel so good. The person will feel really good about themselves. So before you criticize, before you compare someone's life to another person's life, do CRC. First comment the person on how far it has been. And sometimes you do it to yourself. You tell yourself, I know that I'm not going to where I want to be, but I'm not where I used, I'm used to be. I'm not where I used to be. No, 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 no. I am a better person now. So I am not, I mean, 2017 that probably will get angry or throw things. You know, I'm, I know that it's working yourself. A work in progress. Don't use it as an excuse, but also commend yourself. So give compliments. Oh, mommy, you look beautiful. Oh, mommy, there's no better mother like you. Oh, daddy, thanks for all you've done. But I don't like the fact that you always... Do you know that you've already... It's like they said that before you you grow up with a woman, you would have given her all this toasting, 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 toasting. You'd have leveled up, leveled it up before you now say, oh, but I think you should do this, 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 this. So it's like... Pouring water on the ground, your rabbi will say, if you pour water on the ground, you will step on wet ground. Do you get it now? So before you compare someone or before you say, oh, this person is this, why can't you just pour water on the ground? In the sense of giving compliments, giving commend, commending the person on what the person has done. But before I go on, I have to go on a quick break. Um, I have this song by Samsung. It's called Idima, produced by the amazing Wale Oni. And I want you to enjoy the song. It's an amazing song I love so, so much. This is Idima. Hello, my people. How you doing? Welcome, people that are coming, joining us for the first time. This is Life Matters with Anna Dejere. I hope you're having an amazing time. I hope you're having an amazing time. Amazing song. Now what did I do and make you love me so? That's, that's good, that's good. That's good. Someone's giving us um, a, a, an idea on how to also comment also, even when we love the team. Yes. Yeah. 
So please for those that are on Instagram, for those that are on Facebook, share share the video. Share it on Facebook. You can go on Facebook at Anna Dedre and share the video. And also comment the video. Thumbs up like. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in today. That was Edima by Samsung. I'm sorry we couldn't finish the entire song because our time is running, racing. But like I said, today is a part one. Like we're going to have part one. I, I didn't plan to have a part one, but this topic is very, very interesting that I really need um, us to talk at length about it. Comparison. And there's one thing I want us to look at. Genuinely complimenting others outwardly keeps them from complaining inwardly, inwardly and having a criti cultivating a critical spirit so you build up someone's spirit when you compliment the person instead of com com condemning instead of comparing why not just compliments you're beautiful you look amazing like speak words of that would just encourage someone's spirits and also and also let me tell you one thing that you can do as a Christian, as a human being that will help you in this life is rely on God's opinion. Oh, like I should have drum roll. You know that what God says about you matters the most. I don't care what the outside world says about you. What God says about you matters the most. Even when it's your parents. They feel they've looked down on you. They've looked. They've 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 made you too small in their eyes. But you know what? I am admonishing you today. Look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is what God has said about you. God said, "I am a superstar." Oh my God! Like I am so excited. Do you know how? amazing it will be if we all just thought about ourselves how god has thought about us our own insecurity often causes us to compare ourselves to others looking for a way to feel superior having superiority and inferiority complex but what if i just relied on what god has said about me God said, I am wonderfully made I'm so beautiful OMG like you could have said that about me. So waiting consign the person that is saying what is not about me. Like, oh, I'm too excited. Like, waiting consign you about what others say about you. Really? I don't think any, I don't, I don't think that. Before you listen to people's opinion or the voices that ring, ring in your head or the voices that say, oh, you will not pass the exam. You know this. And the words are flying everywhere in your head. Why not just chill and sit down and listen to what God is about to say about your life? Do you think God is not saying some amazing things about you? God is saying some amazing things about God. God has already, he said, before I created you, I knew you. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I predestined you. So what, what tells people? Like, I don't know. What else? See, if someone is present, a woman who hasn't done half of what you've done, quietly thank God that he sees your art and actions and he knows the real story. If someone is bragging about her own abilities on how they did this, comp comparing her talents with hers, instead, quietly whisper, that doesn't matter. God, help me to be content with your evaluation of me over anything else sometimes we tell ourselves what to think in order to keep our minds from going in the wrong direction not only are you and i fearfully made but we are in christ he sees us as perfect in christ that means we have god's measuring stick not our own not of others so you're not measured by the words you're not measured by instagram's yardstick or facebook's yardstick or twitter's yardstick no you're measured by the yardstick of who God sees you to be. And he sees you to be in Christ. OMG. So my people, my people, I want you to say this. Lord, help me to find my security in you and your view of me. And not in sizing myself up against others. And trying to come out ahead. 
Give me a humble heart that is focused on pleasing you and help me to remember that apart from Jesus, there is nothing I can do to impress you or anyone else. Instead of comparing myself to others, help me to compare myself only to Jesus and then rely on your strength to make me more like him, not to anyone else. Like I surrender all. I just want you to look at yourself as Christ sees you. Christ sees you as a beautiful person. A beautiful, amazing person. Christ sees you ah, as someone created by God. When we compare ourselves with others, we're not working by faith. Instead, we're working by things that we can control. Comparison gets us into a lot of trouble. A lot. But today, today, I want you to take this minute to think, reflect. Have I compared my life to someone else's? Have I felt bad about myself because someone else's is living large or living big on the gram or living big even in real life? Have I made, made it to be that I am making someone else look better in, in my sight than looking at myself and saying, I am better than this? How many times have I done that? I want you to sit down and look at that. I want to reflect on that today. Think of yourself as, I am better than what anybody can do to me. I am better than what anybody can say to me. I am created by God. I am made in his image. You know, it is so important that we look at ourselves, how God has looked at us. It's very important. Because God has done so many. If you look at 2017, God has done so many things to you. He has done so many things for you. And... This is one song that gets into my, my soul. There's no one like God because he has created you. He has loved you. He has made you in his own image. So why not instead of comparing yourself to another person or comparing someone else to you, why not just think of how great he has been in your life? I want to play this song. It's a song of worship. It's a song that it blows me off. It, like it blows my mind. It is Equeme by Prosper. For those that don't understand the language, language is not a barrier to worship. I want you to take your time to enjoy this worship song. It is Equeme by Pros Prosper Ochimana. And I pray you're blessed. Jesus. My restorer, my life keeper. 
Yes, Jesus. You are the living God of yes, No one can do me like you do. No one can touch me like you do, God. You are the living God. No one like you, God. Reflect on how much God has done for you instead of comparing yourself to one another. When you just worship Him, thank Him for where He has brought you from. Is there no one like you? Jesus, Jesus is, is just wonderful. Mm, mm. Mm. You know, when, when, I, when I listen to that song, it just makes me think of how great God is and how I, I, I love him so much on how he has made me in his own image, on how he has made me in his own likeness, on how he has made me beautiful in his sight, on how he has been so good to me, on how he has been so merciful to me, that I will not think of what is around me. I will not compare my life to someone else's. I will only compare myself to what God has done for me. So I'm comparing myself for myself. Looking at where he has been, where, what, what he has done for me in the past. And I tell you, if he did it before, my brethren, my brothers, my sisters, he will do it again. I don't care what your past may have looked like. Tell yourself, I am one that God designed. He didn't make a mistake on me. I was not made by accident. He didn't form me from one social so, societal mode. He was trying to measure up no. Because he created me. Because I am unique. Because I am distinct. Because I am beautiful. Because I am amazing. He created me in his own image. In his own likeness. Comparison robs your joy. Comparison one and an another, looking at someone else's life and thinking, oh, this person is doing better than me. <laughs> nah. You just don't know what the person has actually been through. You don't. So, for those that go on Instagram, crying, wailing, comparing their life to another person's, this is my this is my plea to you today and I'm pleading don't compare yourself with anybody don't try it don't don't when even when people compare you as a wife as a husband wives don't compare your husband to anyone else husbands don't compare your wife to anyone else if the person has done anything I I, I, I I'm a strong um, campaign of this remember the good things the person has done for you just like how we remember the goodness of God and don't look at that bad side of the person and same it is see RC commend recommend before you comment make sure you do that as a wrap of the show, we have just two minutes to the end of the show. Yeah, it's it's sad. Yes, I don't want to go to. I'm enjoying this. 
But well, we need to go. We need to go. Um, so this morning, I'm going to um, be playing some songs that I have been singing to the morning. Um, these are songs that some are brand new and some um, are kind of old songs that you can always cop online if you want them. Um, if you if you want to listen to these songs, you can go online. They're, they're songs that I love. This is by a very good friend of mine. It's a rap song and it's called Signature. God has a signature upon your life. So this is Signature by Flo C. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Be good. Don't compare yourself to another person. And make sure you share this video. Stay tuned. We're going to be here next week Wednesday by 10 a.m. Canadian time and by 6 p.m. Nigerian time. God bless you. Hello, people. So, sing this rap song to end the show. So, go get Flo C signature by Flo C. So we put that song, and this is the last song for the show today. Um, this is a, an amazing worship song by David Destiny. It's called Baba Ara. So go cop those two songs, Flossy Signature and David Destiny's Baba Ara. Be blessed. This is an amazing worship song. Sometimes I wonder why you chose to die for me. Amazing song. Till they crucify dust for a mortal Hi, people. Thank you very you much for tuning in me. today. God why bless you. You should share the video. Now. Share your friends, share with share anyone that you trust to you. This is the last song. We're wrapping up the show with this song. It's Jerry Destiny's Baba Ara. So go get this song. It's an amazing piece. Get Flo C's signature. Get the I Depend On You. Amazing song. Um, get a Toby J by um, Genga Kukawa. So go get this song. You should go get this song. You should go get this song. You should go get this song. So go listen to this song. It's David's Destiny. It's David's Destiny's um, Baba Ara. You should go get it. You should go get it. I want you to go get it. I'm giving you a snippet so that you go get it. I give you all the delicious gist of it. So go get the song. It's super amazing. Um, also, Signature by Flo C. Um, also, you should go get this song. It's my to-go song every day, any day. You should go get this song. In the world we live in, it's filled with hops and downs. But my brothers, my sisters, we pray that the hand of God will hold us. So this is Dinimu by Benga Kefenwa. Yay! We're giving you a snippet of this song so that you go get it. Don't just listen to it here. Go copy your copy. So yeah, we finish we end of the show with this song. And also, Benga Kefenwa has a Toby Joe. You should go get that song. Yeah. I have decided to follow him. I want to walk on salvation.
shine away. But on my way, there are temptations. Temptations like comparison. And this is what we ask Jesus. Jesu me di mi mu o ma jen ku so no Jesu me di. So this is a beautiful song by Benga Kemwa. You should go get it and play snippets. I'm not going to play the full song for you because you should go get it. This is a Toby Jew by Benga Akifenwa. So that's a snippet and I'm playing um, a Toby Jew by God, I told you. you. Do you know why? Because it's bigger than every problem. So let's all go He's share the video. Go share this video. God. So play snippets of different songs and you make sure you go, get your puppy. go get your puppy. Go get your puppy. Go get your puppy. How big your problem is. Our God is bigger. And that's why we call him. I told be you. Amazing song. This is an amazing song. I want you to go get amazing, amazing song. Mm. A tobiju means um, the biggest, the big God. A tobiju, the greatest God, the biggest God. I want to go get this song. Benga Kinka was a Toby Jude, David Destiny Baba Ara, Flossy Signature, Benga um Benga Akinfe was Dimimo. Um which other one? Give me one more song. Fem your Kuno girls, I depend on you. Samsung's Idima. You should go get the song. I'm giving you seven songs to go get for this season. And God bless you. God bless you. We've come to the end of the show. God bless you. God keep you. Your week is blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'm